Notre Dame has its third commitment of the 2023 class. A six foot, 190 pound safety from New Jersey has announced his pledge to the Fighting Irish. Before we dive into the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up if you like what you see in this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel here at blueandgold.com for more coverage of your Fighting Irish. The commitment is Adon Schuler, a four star safety from Irvington, New Jersey. Big time pledge here for the Fighting Irish and someone who the coaching staff really coveted as a member of its 2023 class. Let's talk a little bit about who is Adon Schuler. Again, six foot, 190 pounds from Irvington, New Jersey, uh, in the Newark area. Uh, number 213 overall player in America, number 15 safety. He held 14 offers in total. Um, you know, the likes of Boston College, Florida, Georgia Tech, Kentucky, handful of other schools, but really came down to three in Maryland, Notre Dame, and Penn State. The Fighting Irish offered him May 13th. Uh, during a conversation um, with Marcus Freeman and Chris O'Leary. He formed a pretty strong connection with the Irish staff right away. Then he visited a handful of schools at the end of July, including that final group of Maryland, Notre Dame, and Penn State. Didn't really waste much time after he took those visits, decided pretty quickly that he wanted to be at Notre Dame. And to talk about this commitment is Tim Hyde, Blue and Gold analyst, breaking down to Don Schuler's tape. So, Tim, let's pop on his tape. You tell me what you think, um, you know, when you're watching his junior or sophomore film. Yeah, most definitely. The first thing that, uh, you know, I think about is, obviously as a sophomore, is he's playing in all three phases of the, of the game being defense, offense, special teams, his highlights, everything. So, which is awesome to, to see. I know uh, the sophomores that I've had that, that have played for me, we try and, you know, mix them in just one spot, get their feet wet, let them play and get comfortable as a sophomore before they get older. And not this young man, he's all over the place. He's making plays deep, run support in the alley. Uh, some great, great tackles, obviously being real aggressive with the ball on offense, making plays, returns. And as a football coach, the thing I love for a young 15-year-old uh, sophomore is seeing his solo tackles out here on special teams. And that's, uh, that's, pretty, that's pretty awesome. That shows to me as a sophomore, he's a massive uh, part of the football team already. And I think that bodes well for Notre Dame because, uh, you know, of his aggressiveness and the term I like, you know, with some of these players like him is uh, he's a high achiever. And I think that's already starting to show on film at such an early age. Yeah, you talk about him being 15 years old. You know, he, he's going into his junior season still just 15. Um, so he's younger for his age. And um, he had an incredible camp at Notre Dame, um, you know, at the end of July. You know, when you watch his film, what position do you see him Do you at at the next level? I mean, could you see him as a, as a nickel corner? Is it a field safety, boundary safety? Where would you have him um, if you're a Notre Dame coach? Well, the, you know, the first thing you think about is number one, going back is he's only 15. So this, you know, this guy's still got two more years to develop, two more years to grow. Then you get into coach Bayless's weight room. I mean, we don't, I mean, seriously, we may not know where he's at for four years, let's say, and, uh, and whatnot. So I would, I wouldn't be surprised if he's a strong safety, like, you know, the first, you know, when I put on his film, the first guy I thought about in the recent Notre Dame years is Jalen Elliott. I just, I just liked his, his body language, the way he plays, really reminds me a lot of Jalen Elliott's last two years at ND. So, you know, if Notre Dame gets a guy that's comparable to him, that's that's going to be great. And uh, real quick, uh, you know, you, you mentioned something about the camp. And I think, you know, I think that's huge that Notre Dame obviously loved him enough at camp to see him, to build that relationship, to see him in person enough to give him an offer on the spot. And, uh, you know, I think that's, you know, that's going to pay dividends for Notre Dame to obviously start having the camp guys back. Now, he is the third commitment for the Fighting Irish in the 2023 class. And it's all three guys on defense so far. Of course, you have Brendan Vernon, Keon Keeley, a couple of defensive ends. I mean, I know some Notre Dame fans look at that and say, well, why the heck aren't there any offensive commitments? You know, that's a different discussion for a different day. But how excited are you, you know, as a, as a follower of Notre Dame football and as our analyst here at Blue and Gold for this start um, to Notre Dame's 2023 class? 
Well, first off, it's recruiting. So, uh, you know, patience is always the key. It's it's 2023. So, uh, you know, we're going to, you know, we got a while to go. These are only sophomores we're talking about. But uh, no, exciting is to be, um, you know, I was telling you about, you know, the first thing I thought about, obviously, you have two great bookend DNs, uh, which I think when they're all said and done, both those guys are going to, if they're not both five stars, then they're going to be five star and the other is going to be a tick away from a five star. Those two DNs they have are outstanding football players. You parlay those off of the two guys that are coming in 2022. And um, obviously Notre Dame's getting ready to play FSU. The great FSU teams for the, you know, the late great Bobby Bowden, who's just passed away. I, you know, I, I, I grew up in that era and those DNs just dominated for Florida State for decades. And I think Notre Dame's got a couple guys in 2023 that look like they could play at Florida State in the 90s. And that is exciting as could be to have those type of players coming aboard. Notre Dame now has three commitments in that 2023 class. So just juniors in high school announcing really early pledges to the Irish. It's a strong class early on for Notre Dame. It's three defensive prospects. You have a couple of defensive ends, Brennan Vernon, the number eight player in the country, number three strong side defensive end, seems like a great uh, candidate to be a five-star prospect um, at the end of the 2023 cycle. You know, we picked Notre Dame over the likes of Alabama, Michigan, Ohio State, Penn State, Tennessee, and others. And Keon Keeley also pledged to the Irish. Um, he was the first commit, uh, actually pledged to Notre Dame a day before Vernon did, back on June 28th. He picked Notre Dame over the big three schools in the state of Florida, Florida, Florida State, and Miami. So a really strong start to Notre Dame's 2023 class. All four-star recruits inside rivals 250 national rankings. Definitely exciting stuff here if you're a Notre Dame fan. Of course, you want to see the offensive side of the ball start landing commitments, but they certainly have more work to do on uh, in the 2022 class. Um, they got a good start going 2023. No commitments just yet, but certainly some prospects to keep an eye on that we are reporting on over at blueandgold.com. So that's going to do it for this video. Again, if you like this commitment, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, go to blueandgold.com for everything Notre Dame football recruiting.